Hey guys, it's Brandon. Thought I'd play a five minute game today. Playing Memkazi 22 from Poland. 1765. So I think I, I think he pre moved D5. So, uh, probably because. Hmm, probably because he just plays the Scandinavian against e4. So this is like a Queen's Indian almost defense that is uh, going on here. Just going to develop the knight and play for e4. Castle, I think I'll play e4. Ah, he's going to go queenside. So this bishop is good on this diagonal. This is a uh, going queenside is a little bit risky here. If you ask me, because of the open C file. And uh, this doesn't really bother me. I'm threatening to fork the rooks now. Okay. Open G file doesn't really scare me. Can I play D5? Takes, takes. D5, takes, takes, knight takes. Mm. Hmm. How about queen b3, threatening knight takes? Queen b3 threatens... is hanging. Queen b3 would threaten knight takes uh, f7. But my pawn is hanging. This is the problem. Well, let's try it. If he takes the... Uh, I can't because... I think I'm threatening knight takes f7 here, because if queen takes, then bishop takes check, dropping the queen. I just, if he takes the, if he takes the d pawn, I may have to give up my dark square bishop. So, and I spent a lot of time thinking about that tactic, so. Now that's no longer threatened, because he got his king out of the way. So I'm just going to defend the d pawn. Huh? G file. Um, is now an okay time to play this move? D5 seems all right to me. I have a lot of pieces on D5. Uh huh. Didn't take that into consideration. I probably should have played the other rook to the d-file, so I could have had this rook on the c-file. Where's this knight going? Not sure. I'm just going to put this bishop here and uh, use it to block up the G file. Sorry, I've been uh, a little quiet here the last couple minutes. It's also nicely pointing at his uh, C7 square. Okay, I'm defending f7 and attacking his bishop. 
the knight is nice here on the, the square. I could be threatening h6, h3, and then knight fork. Also threatening just to win a pawn as knight takes. And uh, maybe I'll have to sack this pawn back. Okay, he's defending that. Defending that fork. So if I just pile pressure onto uh, C C6 here, C7, okay. I just want to defend this pawn. Is uh, C6 isn't quite an idea yet. Oh, I'm way down on the clock as well. What about H3 and knight to E5? Just try to swing the knight in for some play. This pawn is still defended enough. So I think my next move uh, if I trade off the knight I'm just going to come in with this knight <laughs> attack the queen the queen probably, well, he doesn't have to go anywhere specific. She doesn't have to go anywhere specific. This bishop, if I if I took the bishop, it would be on my b-pawn. And uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm sort of pushing him back with my piece play here, but I don't really have any time. So I'm going to have to find a good, a good plan. If the queen goes back, maybe... Hmm, defending the pawn... So, what about this? Just getting this pawn out of the center, and maybe I'll have some ideas of queen h6. The queen a6 into b7 if he takes. So I suspect he won't take. He'll probably just move his king. Yep. So this idea will always be on the cards. Now I'm going to play rook here to hit the queen. Get this pawn out of the way. I'd like to get in with a rook on the seventh. But, uh, uh oh. Oh, I could have just played the bishop back there. A little bit of counterplay. What about uh, something with knight takes h7? No, I don't see it. I'd just like to trade off this bishop and get a rook onto the 7th. which he's not really interested in. Oops, he's attacking my rook. Love to get a rook onto the seventh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to really have any time. So am I almost trapping the queen here? Almost. Oh, he gave up his queen, and I'm forking the rooks, so I'm going to have to try to win this on time. He's just sacking pieces for time here. And uh, I only have 11 seconds, so let's see if I can get it done. Doesn't look good. We have to pre-move.
Yeah, I got the pre-move win on time. So I think I played okay there in time pressure, which is not something I'm used to. Um, I suspect if I go back, I would have had some... Uh... Oh, this guy Windmill wants to play me, who I was just... Uh, who was just watching me, apparently. But uh, this one video is okay for now. I want to take a look at this. Um, I suspect... Oh, can I play? He, won't, oh, he said something in the chat. Thank you, Chess Cube Ads, for not uh, showing me that. So, Anyway, I suspect I had a pretty strong attack back here, you know, with all my pieces around his king and in the center. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess I just... Uh, Got my, I hung my rook there, and nothing really uh, came to light here. He didn't have to, to, to take my my uh, my rook here with his queen. He could have gone to oh I don't know here. You know, uh, okay, it's annoying to have this rook on the seventh, but again, it wasn't forced, so I'm not sure. I guess he just tried to win on time. So anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed that game, and uh, we'll see you next time.